I'm about to give you the five reasons, at least the top five, of why you should no longer live in the Western world long term. Some of you are not gonna like this, but tough shit, these are all facts, and you can't disagree with facts, only opinions. And in this, I'm gonna give you the top five reasons that are facts of why you should no longer live in the Western world. I am, of course, Caleb Jones. This is Sovereign CEO. I help people just like you how to set up a location-independent business, how to move to a less bad country, or at least set up an international plan B, and do all those things for very little money. And if you live in the Western world, you need to leave, or at least make plans to leave in the next few years. Now, first, let's define what the Western world is before I get to my reasons. The Western world means United States, Canada, Europe primarily, and especially Western Europe, but Eastern Europe too. I've done a video on this. Australia, New Zealand, and you could possibly throw in there, some people do, some people don't, Israel and Japan. You could throw those in there, but at least those five countries or regions, that is the Western world as I define it for this video. Some people think that the Western world is on the Western hemisphere. No, Paraguay is not in the Western world. That is not a Western country. Also, there is one exception to the type of person that I'm explaining this to, and I have to bring this up because I know I'm gonna get comments about this, I usually do. If you are from a third world shithole and you have recently moved to the Western world, that is of course better. So yes, of course, when I say the Western world sucks, America's in a state of collapse, get the hell out. I will get a guy from Africa or Bangladesh or some third world shithole who says, I just moved to America and it's great here. Of course it's great if you used to live in the Congo and now you live in Sweden. Yes, that's true. I'm not really talking to you. I'm talking to you Westerners who were born and raised in the West. You have Western sensibilities, Western education, and Western money. You guys are the ones who need to leave. And here are the five reasons why you need to do this in no particular order. Number one, top of the list in my opinion, is that taxes are too high. And by the way, they're going to get higher. People who live in the Western world pay more money in taxes as a percentage of their income, yes, even if you're lower class or middle class, than anyone else in the entire planet Earth. You absolutely get raped when it comes to taxes in ways other countries, including other civilized countries, like I live here in Dubai where it has 0% tax, don't have. I've said this before, I'll say it again, and I've shown all the data and statistics at my blogs. The average American, average American pays anywhere from 51 to 70% of his entire income in some form of tax, either taxes he sees and taxes he doesn't see. If you are in Europe or Australia or New Zealand, it's about the same. Some parts of Scandinavia are even worse than this. You are getting absolutely destroyed by the amount of taxes you have to pay. And you don't realize what percentage of your work time is spent just making enough money to give your government so you don't go to jail. That's insane. If you make an average middle-class income, let's say you're making, I don't know, $45,000, and you're paying 30, 40% in tax, and then you make a shift in your life where now you pay 0% tax or three or 4% tax, you have no idea how much better that is just by not paying those taxes. And as many of you know, and as I've talked about for 10 years plus now, the entire Western world, including the United States, matter of fact, maybe even especially the United States, gets more left-wing every year, even if you vote for people like Trump. It gets more left-wing every year, so taxes on the overall will increase over time. They're gonna get higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, and the myth is that, well, yeah, they'll get higher on rich people like you, Caleb. No, they'll get higher on you. They'll get higher on you, and if you look at the trends all the way back to 1913, when the United States initiated an income tax, you will find that the middle class pays more actual taxes as a percentage of their income every decade, and that will continue forever until America collapses, and Europe collapses, and Canada collapses, all three of which will collapse in our lifetimes. All you have to do is just move to a country that has better tax laws or less bad tax laws, which is most countries of the world if you live in the West, and you will pay less taxes. Matter of fact, if you're not an American, you can actually drop your taxes to zero relatively easily if you're willing to move out of the country. If you're an American, you may or may not be able to drop them to zero if you make a lot of money, if you make a lot of money like I do, but you can exempt the first $110,000 a year you make in all taxes starting in 2022. Not bad. Most of you don't make more than that, so I think you're good. And if you do make more than that, you'll pay taxes, but you won't pay nearly as much. People thoroughly underestimate what a killer taxes is. And by living in the Western world, you are absolutely getting destroyed by taxes and it's gonna get worse. And by the way, it'll keep getting worse no matter who you vote for, Trump supporters, Republicans, right-wingers, it's still gonna keep getting worse 
Just watch. Reason number two you should leave the collapsing West is that the cost of living is too high. And by the way, getting higher. I am shocked at how expensive real estate is, especially the United States now that we have a real estate bubble, but not just the United States. Have you been to Vancouver, BC lately? Have you been to London lately? The amount of money the typical human being needs to live to live a typical life, not a great life, not a multimillionaire, just a normal middle-class life is now in the hundreds of thousands of dollars of the equivalent in terms of real estate costs, housing costs, utility costs, food, clothing, all the basics, medical care, especially in the United States, my God. The cost of living is ridiculous in the Western world and people seem to think incorrectly in the Western world that, well, yeah, it's expensive, but it's the best. Um, I live here in Dubai and in Dubai where they have zero taxes and the cost of living doesn't have to be more expensive depending on how you live, we have superior infrastructure here. Much of Asia has superior infrastructure than anywhere in the West and the cost of living is lower and the taxes are lower. Just like you're getting destroyed by taxes, you are also getting fucking destroyed by the cost of living living in the West. And as I said about taxes, it's going to get worse. Inflation is going to get worse. The bubbles are going to get worse. The real estate bubble, the stock market bubble, the bond bubble, these bubbles are gonna get worse until they pop and collapse the United States. I simply do not understand why people insist on living in the West and paying these high taxes and high cost living expenses when they can move to somewhere like I live. And if you don't like Dubai, fine. There are lots of other places that are first world places or close to it where the taxes are far lower and the cost of living is far lower and you live a better life. It's just dumb. Now, at some point in our past, Decades ago, the Western world was the place to be. It was in the 1950s, 1960s, maybe the 1980s. That was the place to be. Not anymore and not again in our lifetimes. By the way, if you want help finding a better country or at least less bad country to move to, you can go to escapeplancourse.com. That is my course, Escape Plan, that shows you exactly how to find the country for you. I go through the entire planet Earth and I give you all the specific logistics on how to move out of your country with the least amount of time, least amount of cost, and least amount of hassle. You really should check it out if this topic is of interest to you. Reason number three, and this is a big one for me, and, and some people don't seem to care about this, but some people do. It really depends on your long-term view of your life. Reason number three is the economy of the West is declining. It's getting worse and worse every year. As I've said many times, as I've shown in detail at my blogs with stats and figures and all kinds of good stuff, the Western world right now is in a slow state of collapse. Every economic indicator you could possibly think of has gotten worse in my lifetime since I was born in the early 1970s. You name the indicator, it's gotten worse. Unemployment, the value of the currency, the solvency of the banks, the bubbles in the stock market, cost of living, tax rates. These things have all gotten worse and worse and worse, and they will continue to get worse and worse and worse. In my two new homes, Dubai and Paraguay, these are two examples, just two, of countries that are on the rise. These are countries that are doing better and will continue to do better over the next 25 years. I don't know about you, but I'd rather live in a rising economy, in a rising culture, in a rising society than a collapsing culture, a collapsing society, a collapsing economy. I don't know why you'd wanna do this, and I'm very confused to people who don't seem to care. Every year you stay in the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, it gets worse. You think it's bad now? All you guys bitching about masks and shit like that, and all of you left wingers bitching about the economy and rich people and income disparity and whatever political thing you are, you think it's bad now, you wait, wait five years. You're not gonna believe how much worse it's gonna be in five years. Are you kidding? And you're just gonna keep sitting there bitching and moaning about it because you won't move and you won't leave the collapsing West. Reason number four, and this is something where the Trump supporters are actually right, and that is that socialism is rising in all areas of the entire Western world. United States, Canada, Western Europe, Australia, New Zealand, all these places are jacking up socialism, jacking up welfare states, jacking up UBI, destroying their currencies, raising their taxes, and they're gonna bankrupt their countries, which by the way has already happened in Europe, as I've talked about many times. The entire healthcare systems, for example, in France, UK, Canada are bankrupt. They've been bankrupt for years. It's just gonna keep getting worse. This is a trend that is going to continue, even if you keep voting for people like Donald Trump, because as I've said many times, Trump supporters think UBI and free government healthcare are great ideas. That's not gonna fix it. There's no one you can vote to fix this. The socialism trend will continue forever until these countries collapse, which they will in our lifetimes. Now, if you love socialism, 
If you're really poor and you want to be a loser the rest of your life and you're all excited about getting free money so you can make $15,000 a year getting free money from the government, great. Stay in the Western world. You'll love it. It'll be a shithole, but you'll love it. If you are not in that category, you need to make plans to get the fuck out of the Western world at some point in the near future, if not right now. Depends on where you live in terms of how bad it is. If you live in Europe, I would get out now. I would have gotten out a long time ago. If you live in the U.S., you should get out soon. If you live in Canada, soon, but maybe not quite as soon. But you need to make plans to get the hell out. And I have to repeat this always. I'm not saying you need to move out of the United States or Canada or Western Europe or Australia tomorrow or next month or even six months from now. I'm saying make plans and get out. Any person watching this video can leave the Western world within a year. Let me say that again. Any of you, I don't care what your fucking excuses are, any of you watching this video could, with some a little planning, especially with my materials, even without my materials, could figure out how to leave your collapsing Western country and move somewhere less bad within 12 months from now. You could. And if you're saying you can't, you're lying and you're making excuses. By the way, if you like this content, you should subscribe to this channel. You should click the dumb notification bell. You should leave a like on this video and leave a comment on this video. You can say whatever you want, doesn't really matter. The more interactivity I get on this content, the more this content I will provide for you for free. Reason number five, you should leave the collapsing West. And this is a reason that doesn't truly hit you until you start traveling internationally. If you have never really traveled outside of your collapsing Western country, which is the vast majority of you watch this video, you can't really understand this until you actually go start visiting other places. And then you will be shocked to find out that reason number five is people in the Western world are angry. They're angry, they're pissed off, they're touchy, they're on edge all the time, they're bitching about politics all the time, they're complaining all the time, they have a hair trigger, they're, they're, they get very angry very quickly. I'm talking about left-wingers, I'm talking about woke people, I'm talking about right-wingers, I'm talking about Christians, I'm talking about Trump supporters, I'm talking about just about everyone you meet. And I'm not talking about just a particular region of a certain country. I'm not talking about just Portland, Oregon, or just Toronto, Canada. All over the United States, all over Europe, and Canada, oh, I've been to Canada a while, all over the United States, because I have been all over the United States, including recently, all over Europe, all these places. People are on edge, they're pissed off, they're angry. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure why you would want to live in a society full of angry people. When you move, or when at least you start traveling to other countries like I have, you will be shocked to see that people are not mad. People don't scream about politics on Facebook all day. People don't bring it up. People don't fucking care. In my two homes, Dubai and Paraguay, people are happy. People are smiling. People are laughing. People are joking around. They rarely discuss contentious topics unless they have to for work or things like that. In normal day-to-day -day interactions, you can tell people are happy. Now, is it perfect in these countries? And of course not. Can you find any country where people are happy all the time 24-7? Of course not. That's why I say moving to a less bad country, not moving to a great country. But I promise you this is the case. People outside the West today in the 2020s are way happier and way more easygoing and way more enjoyable to be with than most Westerners speaking generally. Yes, there are exceptions to both those rules. You guys who already travel around outside the West world, you already know what I'm talking about. You already know how happy people are when you go to parts of Asia, when you go to parts of South America, various other places. People are having a good time. They're happy. It's not bad. It's kind of nice. And so it does a lot for your mental health and your, you know, your positive, happy state of mind when you're around happy people instead of when you're around pissed off Americans all the fucking time. I could list another 15 reasons why you need to leave the West, but those are the top five. And if you would like some specific examples, as an example of what I have done, you can watch two videos here. One is the reasons I chose to move to Dubai, that all the reasons I chose, I go through all the objections, the reasons. And the second video here is why I chose to use Paraguay as my second home, my second flag. You can check those videos out to see my reasoning of why I chose those countries. Now, if you don't like Paraguay or Dubai, that is fine. You have lots of other options. I will see you in the next video. Have fun. Bye.